G'day guys, welcome to episode 21 of TV. Today, I'm reviewing Bush Billy T from T-Life. T-Life is a Australian company based in New South Wales. They're currently 100% online with a retail shop coming soon. So, I'll put the website in the description as always so you can check out their range of teas. I uh, quite like this packaging they've got. You can see it's pretty simple and to the point. Got the name up the top. What's in it here? Eucalyptus and black tea in this one. And just like their name down the bottom. And then on the back it just talks about how they're 100% organic. And uh, these bags are heat resistant and uh, resealable. So you can keep the tea in it throughout its life. Um... So yeah, to do a bush billy tea, I thought what a better place to review it than out in the bush. So I've slept the night here, out in my little shelter, and uh, just cooked the tea up in my tranger here. So you can see I've not had a strain or anything. I've just uh, caught it out, and the vast majority of the leaves have stayed behind. So bush billy tea, guys, eucalyptus and black tea. I quite like this one, uh, but if you're not a fan of eucalyptus, I wouldn't even bother. Um, it's certainly dominant over the tea flavour. It basically, yeah, is the the only flavour. Is the eucalyptus? I quite like eucalyptus. I'm uh, known to chew on a gum leaf when I'm walking in the bush, and this is basically the liquid form of doing that. So I really like it. Um, now I am told. Having too much eucalyptus isn't good for you, uh, but too much of anything probably isn't good for you. Um, but yeah, maybe not a tea to be drinking every day or exclusively numerous times a day. But uh, it's something very different and a bit of a treat as far as I'm concerned. It, um, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't taste like black tea, let's just put it that way. It is, it's just like having a eucalyptus drink. So uh, it's up to individual discretion, I guess, to whether you're um, keen on that or keen on giving it a try. Eucalyptus doesn't taste like anything else. If you've never had eucalyptus, I can't really give you a comparison. It's very much its own flavour. Um, but yeah, it's the strong and dominant flavour in this one. But for me, it's worthwhile. And a great one for having in the bush, guys. Alright, I'll see you in the next episode.